in Malden might be the most highly anticipated. We all drive by and wonder what's happening there, and it's now been two years since they broke ground. Access Carolina's Ava Bratz is getting that first-hand mm -hmm. look uh, alongside the developers. What do we see now? Absolutely. I mean, take a look at this. We are in the alleyway Main Street of Bridgeway Station. This is where a lot of the action, the camaraderie is going to happen. And Phil Hughes of Hughes Investments, we're so excited to do a walkthrough with you today. Kind of start from the beginning. What was the vision for this space? And obviously, it's getting brought to life quite quickly. Well, we had a wonderful time with our family in Europe some time ago, and the beauty over there is so becoming to everyone. Mm -hmm. And we just tried to bring some of the beauty home and give people something unique and different, convenient and fun, and we're having a great time providing it. Oh, and we're having a great time kind of outside looking in to see all the progress. And at this building here, this is apartments, so people aren't just going to be coming, passing through. They're taking up roots. Absolutely. Already some people have moved in. The retail now has started upfitting their spaces. We're going to have an abundance of places to shop, eat, and just have fun. No doubt. And on the website it says a, com a combination of tradition and technology. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, we have the modern efficiencies of the HACs and all the normal things, but also we'll be a giga city. The capacity to have internet here will be almost unlimited. We'll have co-work spacing. We're trying to bring the walkability, live, work, you can walk to your job, and mm -hmm. entertain, lots of food and beverage, oh, a yeah. lot of fun. Well, entertainment is definitely going to be a highlight of this space. You're talking about it's all the great things of a downtown space, but not a lot of the hassle. Talk to me more about that. Well, downtown is absolutely wonderful. No one would doubt that. And the walkability is what we're trying to bring out here, but still have free parking, be a lot easier to get to on the interstate, closer to many thousands and thousands of more people, and it's a convenience for our growing area. And while they're here, they can enjoy amazing food, drink. There's going to be charcuterie place, Table 301, a very familiar restaurant group. And let's talk about musicians. We were looking at a really neat stage setup over there. We're under construction still, and we hope to have a giant screen TV as well and all the speakers and electrical components necessary to bring in about every type of musician you can imagine, from the local easy to headliners. And we'll have a lot of entertainment on that stage. Maybe even watch a Furman game or two. One of the towers out there actually resembles the tower on campus. We have uh, inspirations of a lot of different things that are Italian. And the mm -hmm. Furman Tower is one of them. It's just beautiful. Yeah. It's, everything isn't exact, but we have different museums from Italy, the, uh, from Assisi, Rome, Florence, and trying to bring little touches of that to everyone here. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Swamp Rabbit Trail I talked about um, a little bit ago, I mean, it's almost open. It's going to be right over there. So what do you hope to gain from having that local inter interaction, but also people just passing through town? Well, the Swamp Rabbit Trail has just been an incredible success from everyone's perspective. You, we can see downtown Greenville, up to Traveler's Rest, everywhere along the trail. Mm -hmm. The fun and excitement follows the trail. We're so fortunate that as Malden has helped bring this incredible bridge, it's not finished yet. It will be soon. It still needs to connect up to the main trail, which is in progress, and it will be a great addition for anyone. Yeah. We really do like family events. We like anything athletic and health-oriented, and we want to be so pet-friendly. Friendly. It's oh. incredible. And that Swamp Rabbit Trail fits it so perfectly. Absolutely. Well, City of Malden, if you need filler eye to help lay some cement, we will do that happily. We're so excited for that trail, Margaret. When we come back, we're going to be talking about one of the boutiques. She's got a few of her items. She's very well known in the area. We'll catch up soon with Plum. Going to be an incredible destination. I love that. Ava, thank you. We'll see you soon.